Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Listen, hello, everybody. I see y'all in the house. I see you in the house. Hello, Terry. Leandra Herring is in the house. I see you, sis. I see you. Listen, y'all, our beloved moderator is off up in here. Can y'all please throw some flames in the chat? for the coldest moderator on the planet. Louise Garner is off up in here. Can y'all please throw some flames in the chat for the baddest moderator on the planet, y'all? I need y'all to please help me out right there. Right there. Can you please do that? Let me get my flames off up in the chat for my moderator. Listen, hey, Facebook. Hey, Facebook. Y'all, we got a topic tonight. We got to talk about it. Hello, HT. I see you in the house. Terry, my Terry is in here. Hello, hello. Who else we got in here? We have Shirley. Shirley Gonzalez is in here. Kimberly, uh, I see you, Ki Kimberly. Is it Sil Silvera? Thank you so much. Hey, Joe, I see you. Sakina Lagodi is off up in here. Hey, Konita Johnson. Natalie Awaken Queen, Jacqueline Smith. Linda Bess is off up in here. Hey, Joseph Roberts. Uh, let's see who else we got. Becca, I see you in the house. Thank you. Hey, Miss P, I see you in the house. Zelda is in here. Shirley. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Shirley Gonzalez. Thank you so much. Tony Jones. All right. Who we got on Facebook? Lisa, Lisa. She's watching on Facebook. Hey, Jacqueline Wolf. All right, Linda Smith. I see y'all. Come on. We get we we getting go, we going in tonight. We're gonna go in a little deep tonight. All right. Is that all right with y'all? All right. Let's see what we got going in here. In here. Off of thank you for the love, y'all. Roz catering. I see you, Patricia. Tasha is in the house. Pink girl, my sister Joy is off up in here. Hey, Pat Murphy. Tish Moore is off up in here. Hey, Tish. Thank you all so much. Y'all make sure y'all get over to my girl, Pink Girl. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and uh, subscribe, like, and share. Erica, I see you. All right, y'all coming in on Facebook. Let's see who else. We got Erica Hall. Got you. Um, J. Juana Payne is in here. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Is it uh, Nee Harper, Belinda Conyers? Okay, I see y'all coming in here, M. Mosby. Hello, chatting with Chelly is off up in here. Hey, sis. Y'all know, y'all don't forget to like and share Facebook, like and share, like and share Sheila Jones. Thank you so much. YouTube, like and share. Y'all, I got the I got the boards. Y'all listen, y'all make sure y'all get over there and support our sister Chelly off up in here. Okay, she got a, a, a dynamic speaker coming on Tuesday. Y'all make sure y'all get over there and support her. Mr. Miller, I see you in the house. Sherry Mas, uh, Mascote, I see you in the house. Overcomer, all right now, I see you in the house. Sakina, all right, I see you in the house. Let's see who else we got up here. Hey, Kimberly Young, I see you watching on Facebook, y'all. Thank you so, so much. The topic tonight, okay? The narcissist was a whole distraction. I said it. I said it, okay? A whole distraction, y'all. A whole one, okay? All right, y'all. Let's see who else. Did, who, who did I miss up here? Jacqueline, I got you. I got you. Joseph, I got you. Let's see. We got Natalie. Let me go back. Let's see who's who who just jumped in here. Who just jumped in the chat? Faith-based workplace is off up in here. Y'all go over there and support my brother. Okay. He had a powerful broadcast on yesterday talking about grace and mercy. Hello. Hey, Stacy. I see you in the house. Thank you so much on Facebook. Um, y'all make sure y'all get over. Hey, Power Dynamics for Life. I see you, Dr. Aisha. God bless you. Thank you so much. Leona, Sarah, Andy, Lorena, Letitia Lightfoot, Queen W is off up in here. I see you. I see you. Carol M. Sharita Matthews. All right. 
Come on, unknown, unknown. All right, live every Thursday. Okay. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I see y'all coming in. Stephanie Thomas, Renee Janae Ward. I see you in the house. Hey, Jill. Jill Boyle is in the house. I see you, sis. Thank you. Y'all, all the channels that are represented here, y'all make sure y'all get over and support them. They are some dynamic channels. Chelly is powerful. Listen, she has some awesome people on the channel. Uh, Pink Girl, you know, Joy is live on Sunday nights. Solomon was live on last night. Let me tell you something. That man taught out of his heart. The Lord truly blessed, okay? He really did. I see you all. Hey, Bridget O'Neill. Um, let's see. Hey, Tim, I see you in the house. Tim is in here. Jennifer A is in here. Marisha. All right, Virtuous Ministries. Sakina, I got you. I got you. Andy Bond, I got you. Thank you so much, Charity. City on, on a Hill. All right, Charity. Lisa Barnett. Monique McIntosh is off up in here. Hey, sis. Francia, Red Malone. Come on, sis. I saw you in the comments. I think it was. Yes, indeed. Keisha, is it uh, Kaya Howard? Cherie. I see you, Cherie T. Jamila. My girl, Rhonda. Hey, you go. Hey, sis. Zondria. All right, y'all. Christopher, uh, Christopher Sean, I see you in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Did I miss it? Hey, Carol M. Sharita. Okay, I got you, Sharita. All right, all right. Let's see. Is it Devaris? Devaris. Okay, I see you watching. Hey, Elizabeth Clark. Welcome, Fob. Rashid. Okay, Albert. We got some new folks on Facebook, y'all. Y'all, Facebook, y'all make sure y'all like and share. Karen Elizabeth, I see you. All right, Kimberly Young, I see you, I see you. Y'all, thank you for liking and sharing. Thank you for liking and sharing. All right, you two, listen, y'all, everybody, y'all know I started talking about that shift uh, about three, uh, maybe about three or four uh, weeks ago, Okay. And if y'all wondering what my shirt says, it says nap queen because I love to nap, y'all. That's one of my favorite things to do when I'm not busy. <laughs> so I have a few shirts that say nap queen on here and I just love them. Okay. I see you overcomer. All right, y'all. Deborah Enard, I see you in the house. Patrice Bean, I see you in the house. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and get ready to, to jump into this message. Okay. We're going to go ahead. Thank you, Jill Ann. I see you on Venmo. God bless you, sis, for that very generous Yay. gift. You are so sweet. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, sis, for that. Y'all, I want to talk about these distractions. I started talking about the shift, EP Maximus, about four weeks ago. One thing that you have to understand about the prophetic, and that's what I love about the gift that God has given me, and also those of you that are empowered with the Holy Spirit, maybe you don't, maybe you don't necessarily walk in the office of a prophet, but if you have the Holy Spirit, you should be able to tap into the prophetic. Amen. That should be something that you should desire to do. See, listen, one thing I love about God is that when he talks to us in the realm of the spirit, if you are listening, you are going to hear the word. I started talking about the shift and listen, all after I started talking about the sift, I said sift it to be shifted. And listen, after I, it, it was like, after that happened, did y'all start seeing the shift? Y'all go to different YouTube channels. Y'all was, y'all was seeing the shift, the shift, the shift. We were everybody started talking about the shift that was happening in the realm of the spirit. Why? Because when God speaks, he's saying, when you're listening, you're listening to him. He's saying the same thing. Okay. If you hear him, we, and we're all listening to the same God, Stacey Del Butcher, we're going to hear him. You, we're going to hear what he's trying to say to us in the realm of the spirit. That's what I love about him. Listen, God started talking about a couple of weeks, uh, talking to me about distractions. Then I started seeing everybody in my spirit. It's like, you got to talk about these distractions. We got to talk about, you know, what has actually happened in the realm of the spirit. What 
took place. Because what you need to understand is that this body that we live in is our terrestrial body, okay? Your spirit man is called your celestial body. Okay, that's your celestial body. This is where the spirit world, I told y'all before, come on, Bernard Lane, Ashley Williams, I told y'all before that the spirit world is the is the parent world. Uh, uh, Katrina uh, Govan, I'm telling you, this is what's happening. You got to understand that the spirit world is the parent world. Whatever is affecting you in this natural realm, it has already hit you in the realm of the spirit. Do you, under, do you understand me? Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay. You got to get that. This is why we, this is why as Christians, we live such defeated lives because we're carnal. Christians have a very, very bad problem with carnality. I said it. I said it. Narc free energy. I said it. Very bad problem with carnality. Why? Because a lot of times from the pulpit, we're not taught how to walk in the spirit. Yet the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Y'all know the scripture. Come on. Life is spiritual. And until you understand that the spirit world is the parent world, you will never be able to really have the victory in this life. The most powerful people on this planet are ones that know how to go into the realm of the spirit and make some things happen. I'm going to testify for y'all in just a little bit. I'm going to share my, I'm going to wait and share my testimony at the end because I want you to see how this thing works. Now, let's talk about the distractions. Y'all ready? I was listening to a song, y'all. Listen, y'all remember that song by Jennifer Hudson? And I said, this describes a narcissist to the T. Okay. When, when uh, I was talk, I was thinking about that. Let me uh, clean these glasses real quick. I was thinking about that song by uh, Jennifer Hudson. Y'all heard that song. She sang, where you at? That song is something else because when I tell you she wasn't doing nothing but talking about a narcissist right there, plain and simple. What did she say in the song? You said when the storm came, you would be there with your umbrella to block the rain. You said you protect me from heartache, pain, lies, loneliness, and misery. You said you tear down the walls that were in the way. You promised things would be okay. Y'all remember that? But I stood there in the freezing cold and I waited for you, but you never showed. That's a narcissist. That's a narcissist right there. Y'all pardon me because I've been shouting, talking all day. Listen, so my voice is not top right now. But that's a narcissist. Where you at? That was the question. Angela Marie, where you at? A narcissist is nowhere to be found. Y'all hit that like button. We going in. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. So we got to attack this foundation. You know, I always like to take us back. I want to go back, go back, go back. You understand me? To the foundation. Because we're in all that getting, we must get an understanding about what's happening. So when we look at the foundation, we look at the dysfunctionality. You know, often I tell you about this, this foundation. Uh, about how we were raised in this dysfunctionality, how you were, you know, you in the house with your parents, your parents don't know, you know, they, they don't have a clue, you know, what's happening. They don't have a clue how to really, how to really raise you and Lord help them. If they really don't have a word life, then it's going to be even more difficult. Why? Because if you don't take the time to read the word of God, you won't understand. And see, we it's time out for the days of going to church, twinkle, and listening to the word and not diving in it for yourself. One thing that you have to understand, one thing that is synonymous throughout the Bible are things that are spiritual. Listen, Daniel, let's go back over to Daniel. 
Daniel Daniel had decreed something out of his mouth. And the, and the what did the what did the angel say? The messenger angel said to him. He said, "Listen, when you spoke it out of your mouth, Daniel, I was coming to I was coming to perform that which you had spoken. I was ready, but I was held up for 20 and 1 days by the prince of Persia. Do you think that this is something that is happening in the realm of the natural? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Mercy Jones. This is not something that is happening in the realm of the natural. This is happening in the realm of the spirit. He was held up by the prince of Persia. That was a whole principality. See, this is, see, if an angel can be, can be, uh, can be held up, what do you think about you, Machula 14, Virtuous Min Ministries? Listen, the enemy don't play any games. So what does it say in the book of Daniel? Said that Michael had to be dispatched to go and and uh, to basically make it, get this angel free so he could get down to Daniel. Go read it in the book of Daniel. So if the angel was distracted and, and, de and detained, by a spirit, what do you think about yourself? Because the main thing is to distract you to a place where you can, your purpose and destiny can be eradicated, canceled, canceled. This is what the, this is what the, this is what the kingdom of darkness wants to do is cancel you. How do they cancel you? By shutting you down. They, they, by, by implementing these demonic systems of delay. Because if they can delay you to a place where you, you can just get to a, a, a place where you just cannot finish. A lot of times people have to be called home early. Why? Because God knows they're not going to finish. They're not going to finish. Why? Because you got to understand that life is spiritual. You were a when you were when you were born into the household that you were born into. Joy said something so powerful. And I, I, I meant to talk to her about that because one thing she said is that the familiar spirits, they, they he, she talked about how they talk to each other. The reason that the narcissist came into your life is because the familiar spirits that you carried from the dysfunction functional way that you were you were raised in your home i don't care i don't care how beautiful your house was how much y'all went to church there was still some dysfunctional things that were happening in the household that's just what it is it doesn't matter what you what you think the enemy knows that he has an assignment to delay to distract and to ultimately hopefully destroy you the job is for the it is for the enemy to counsel you this is why the the narcissist became a whole distraction in your life so she was talking about the familiar spirits do you know that the, the familiar spirits that that you would carry talk to the ones that the narcissist carry they communicate this is how you show up in the realm of the spirit how you think the narcissist know who to pick hello somebody how do you know who the narcissist knows how to pick they have demonic intel demonic intel twinkle Come on, it's, they are on a whole demonic operation. Remember I told you, you are a spirit that lives in a body that possesses a soul. When you understand that and you under and you begin to understand that the parent world is the spirit world and all you're seeing in this life, in your terrestrial body, you're only witnessing what has already happened in the celestial world this is why when you when you're dealing with things that are happening in your lives the the every every walk of life that you look into is is saturated with sorcery why you look at the music look at the music that you listen to a, a lot of you listen to all of this secular music saturated with sorcery you understand what I'm saying? Because sorcery is the conjuring of spirits. It's, it's basically using spirits to attack your celestial body. So what you see happening in the celestial body will then manifest in the, in the terrestrial, which is right here. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why you have to, this is why I have to talk about these distractions because all of this is spiritual. It's being done to you spiritual, spiritually first.
You understand? When you walk outside of the will of God, what you're literally doing is walking from underneath the covering, the ark of safety that has been built for you. Come on, Ephesians 1, uh, uh, Ephesians 6. I believe it's, uh, wait a minute, it's Ephesians, uh, uh, let me see, Ephesians 1, verses 3 and 4, where he talks about that the, the, uh, uh, the blessings, the spiritual blessings that you have, they've already been put into the realm of the spirit. They've already been placed there. It already, it's already there. You have to go get it. Your blessings don't move. You move, you move outside of the will. And that's what causes you to go through these demonic systems of delay because we're moving outside of the will of God. Do y'all hear me on tonight? Do you hear me on tonight? Thank you so much, Stacy, for the stars. God, God, I see the star right there by your name. This is what we have to understand. So when we're talking about distraction, Distraction is a whole system. Stanley Mitchell, it's a whole system, Marilyn Wheeler. Come on here, y'all. So when we talk about the way that you were raised and these familiar spirits, Joy talked about it. Come on, you are going to experience delays. You're going to experience all types of things until you understand that you must learn how to harness your power in the realm of the spirit, which means that you need to learn how to pray. Why do you think I pray the way that I do? Why? It's because I want you to understand that in order to get things going, in order to get things happening in this realm, uh, Nika Johnson, you have to know how to petition the, the throne of heaven. You have to know how to engage the enemy, Anna Marie Bowles. Come on, sis. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you, Louise. Thank you so much for that generous uh, super sticker. You are such a blessing to us. Thank you so much for sewing. This is why we have to cover these topics. That's why I tell you Thursday night, you got to be here. If you want that next level healing going over to wholeness, you need to be here. You understand? So in your childhood, you were attacked to be distracted. You don't hear me. Hello, lights. Hello. You were attacked to be distracted. Facebook, y'all share this stream, please. Come on. Thank you for the stars. God bless you. Thank you for sewing. You were attacked to be distracted. You were traumatized to be nullified. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Did you hear what I said? You were traumatized. Come on, Lisa G. I see you. Thank you so much, sis, for that generous super sticker. Come on. God bless you. Did you hear what I said? You were traumatized to be nullified. Come on, Holy Ghost. Talk to us. Why do you say that, Telsha? Because get listen, the trauma was meant to nullify you. It was meant to cancel you in the realm of the spirit. Cancel, flatline. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I'm ready tonight. I'm locked and loaded because we got to understand that this distraction is something serious. It is a absolute system that has been implemented by the kingdom of darkness to totally destroy you. Your, your ministry, your everything. Y'all hit that like button tonight. Okay, we going in. We're going in. So, you were, you were traumatized to be nullified. The enemy knows this is why his main focus is the children. This is why he focuses on the children. He wants to get you as early as possible, Fifi, as early as possible. He knows that if I can get you traumatized, come on, Facebook, if uh, YouTube, if I can traumatize this individual because I see some things in the realm of the spirit that is going to potentially be devastating to my kingdom. So if I can't stop this person, this person is going to become a serious problem, Brandy. Come on, Duncan Mack. If if you don't, if you, do, if I don't stop this person, then this person is going to become a serious problem. So you have to be traumatized. Everybody to some degree has had some level of trauma in their lives. 
Okay. So after the trauma, now let's deal, let's deal with, with this distraction. Now here comes the narcissist. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Now you've been traumatized. You've been distracted. You know, all of these different things. Now you have a whole different institution going on because the, 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 the constitution, I'm sorry, constitution going on because the constitution that you were born here with that purity, that clean slate, all of that has been jacked up. Joshua Watts, it's been messed up because you've experienced this trauma. Now you're, you're walking around with all of these different things going on and all of these amendments. Now you got to go to therapy because you got whole familiar spirits working in your life. Talk to me. Talk to me. You got familiar spirits. Now you got this narcissist that has come along. Oh, come on here. This narcissist that has come along. What is this narcissist getting ready to do? What this narcissist is getting ready to do. Thank you so much, Maddie. God bless you for that very generous super chat. I appreciate you, sis. This narcissist is getting ready to, in, to, to basically reinforce the, the curse, the generational curse of the familiar spirits in the bloodline. Hello. Thank you so much, Spirit Lead Me. She said, Mar she said Martha was distracted, but Mary stayed at Jesus' feet and it was not taken from her. You see that? That's right there in the Bible. Yes, she was. Matter of fact, she wanted to have a conversation. She was arguing about it. Huh. Arguing about what was going on. Come on here. You see what I'm saying? Martha, she was distracted. But here, here is what you got to understand. So they, the narcissist only comes in, sent by the kingdom of darkness to reinforce the familiar spirits. Why do you think that some of y'all had the same things happening with you? The narcissist said, well, I was traumatized too. You're talking about, well, I was traumatized. You're talking about your trauma. The narcissist is talking about their trauma. Why do you think that you met? You didn't meet first in the natural they saw you in the realm of the spirit first. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Somebody going to get free tonight. Somebody is going to get free tonight because when you understand, see, you can't, you, you can't grow, you can't grow through what you, what you have experienced until you understand what, until you understand what you, what you were, you were going through. See, you got to understand what you what you were going through before you can grow through that thing, because if you don't understand it, how are you going to grow? The Bible says that in all that getting, get what? Understanding. We have to gain an understanding. That's in all that getting, get an understanding. So listen, these familiar spirits come to finish you. So the narcissist is coming with that. So now the narcissist is coming to your life. You are distracted. You are, you distracted. How are you distracted? Because you're going to ask me, well, how are you distracted? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to go down the line because I want you to really, really hear what this, this system of delay, this demonic system of delay looks like. You understand what I'm saying? Because a distraction is a whole system in itself. But you're distracted when that narcissist comes into your life. What do you get distracted by? First of all, you're distracted by the fact that the, the thing that they do first, come on here, Lakeisha Davis, I see you in on Facebook. The first thing you're distracted by, thank y'all for the stars over there. God bless y'all for sowing into this stream. The first thing that you're distracted by is the fact that they pull you away from your relationship with the most high. Oh, we can start right there. Let's go ahead and start right there. You stop praying, Marisha J. Come on, Miss P, Queen W, you stopped praying. Konita Johnson, you stopped. You were so focused, and I don't care if it was a pastor. I don't care because they are in every walk of life. Narcissists are everywhere. I don't care. They're everywhere. So you see, they pulled you away from your prayer life. They pulled you away from your word life. Why? That was, that was part of the plan. Because Angela Cheney, he has to shut you down. The, listen, the enemy has to shut you down and nullify you spiritually. So you won't be able to 
fight against what is getting ready to happen to you with this narcissist. See, he has to weaken you so that your will will be, your, you will be, basically, you're just going to be too weak to fight. Your will has to be completely submitted over to the narcissist. How many of y'all going to testify by show of ones in the chat? Let me just, I, I just want y'all to see how this thing works. That when the narcissist entered your life, you stop praying. You stop reading your word. Everything that you had really going in your life, it took a back seat to that narcissist. How many of y'all going to really put, how, how many of y'all going to testify? Let me go ahead and testify because I got to put my one up in here. See, this, this message spoke to me first. Thank you so much, Linda Best. God bless you for sowing into this stream. Y'all see these ones coming up in the chat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. how many of y'all going to testify on Facebook? See, God don't ever give you something that's not in the house. Whenever he gives you something, I know when he gives me something, first of all, y'all need to know that these messages minister to me first. Let me go ahead and be all the way transparent. Let me not just talk about you. Thank you, Linda. God bless you, sis. Let me just talk about, let me talk about me, Dory B. Let me just talk about me. So this is what happens. He has to, he has to, they have to come into your life. So you see all of these ones in the chat? So they, that, that's the first thing he's going to do. That's the first thing because he needs to make sure that you're too weak to fight what's getting ready to happen to you. So guess what? Guess what? Now, now that the narcissist is there, you stop reading your word. You stop going to church. You stop praying. You stop doing all of that. Even all of the businesses and everything that you had going on, Deja, all of that. You, I mean, that right there even suffered because you got this new distraction in your life. Boy, woo, this is a call. One. Look how the enemy did that to you. All because, all because the little child in you was seeking attention because while the uh, while the adult was sitting back watching see the the narcissist can only approach you with what they have their children inside they can only appeal to the child in you i'm gonna just i'm gonna park right there i said it i said it they can only appeal to the child in you. They can't give you something that they don't have. Hello, lights. They can't give you what they don't have. So how do I know that? Because it was it was that immature, it was that immature part of you that gravitated to all of that attention. Oh, they doing this and they're doing that. Oh my goodness. And woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Yeah, the adult you, which is the one that's logical, which is the one that should be practical and logical, didn't stand a chance because the child was screaming too loud. The child, the child in you was screaming loudly at the child in the narcissist. Facebook, come on, Trin Trin. Yes, this is how it works. The enemy loves immaturity. Come on. He loves immaturity. This is why he goes after the children so much because you're ignorant and you're immature when you're a child. This is why. Revelation. How do I know this? Because I spend time with God. How do I know this? Because I spend time in his word. How do I know that? Because I study, the, I study to show myself approved, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. I don't know every single scripture and every single verse in the Bible, but what I do need to know and what and, and what I do do, this is what I do is I write the scriptures on the tables of my heart that when I need them, I'm able to pull them up out of the reservoirs of my soul because they are cemented there. The sword of the spirit is your weapon, which is the word of God. The shield of faith. To shield you, but your your ch the child in you is screaming so loud that your that the adult doesn't even have a chance. The adult just got to sit back and watch because you're just so in you're just so enamored by the child in you getting this attention. The enemy loves this. 
This is a this this is the way he plays out his 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 system of distraction. It ha he has to be able to tap into that immature, ignorant part of who you are. Ignorance means darkness. See a lot. See a lot of this stuff that I teach you. You're not gonna get this when you go when you go into into your your local uh, worship places. A lot of you're not going to get this and that's okay. That's why God put it right here for you to get it. And that's not to say that you don't need to go there because you do need to be in the house of the Lord. You need to get what they can give you and then you get your supplements wherever else you need to get them. You understand what I'm saying? But you got to understand that this thing is spiritual. Thank you, spirit led me. She said the devil isolates, God consecrates. Oh, that's good. He sets apart. Uh, sets us apart to uh, purify us and make us holy like him. That part, that's a whole word right there. That's a whole word. That's a whole word. Thank you so much. I see you, E.P. Maximus. God bless you. Thank you so much for that. So let's keep going. So now you're getting ready to be hit with all of these things that this narcissist is getting ready to do to you. You're getting ready to be distracted by the cheating and the lies. Watch this. The cheating and the lies. Now watch this. Now you are being distracted by the cheating and the lies. Now guess what you got to do? You got to become a private investigator. Now let me ask you a question. Was that your spirit? Was that your spiritual inheritance? Is that your purpose and destiny in life? I got to ask the question because we're talking about the distractions. We're talking about uncovering demonic systems of delay. Were you called to be a private investigator? I'm asking the question. I see you, Alicia. Come on, Bernard Lane. Were you called to be a private investigator? So now, now you, you come on. Because Nehemiah said, well, I'm going to come off the wall and, and, and come off the wall doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. This is what he told Sam Ballard and Tobiah. Come on. So you've been pulled off the wall by the little girl in you. That distraction, you know, so the distraction has come because you, you, you know, that little girl still need to be validated. She need to be, she, she need to be sat all the way down, loved on and tell the day you had your time and you are right. The Lord loves you. We're going to do a live stream on that one day. Y'all share this stream. Y'all hit that like button. So now you got to deal with the cheating and the lies. So now if that's not your, uh, your divine purpose and destiny is to become a private investigator, guess what? You just became one. Who am I talking to? Where is the lie? Where is the lie? Okay. So, so you're distracted now by a, a position that you never asked for in the kingdom as a private investigator. Let me keep going. Now you distracted because we're talking about distractions. This is what the narcissist is bringing into your life. Now that you done got the cheating and the lies going, now your health is failing you because you don't know what's going on with the narcissist. Hello, somebody. I'm coming down your lane tonight. I'm coming down your lane. Now you're being distracted by health issues. Okay. Now your whole check is going towards co-pays at the doctor's office. Because you're getting every other week, you're getting bacteria vaginosis. You got a whole urinary tract situation going on because they sleeping with everybody and anybody. Hello, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Oh, we I'm coming down your lane tonight. I'm, and I'm coming down your lane tonight. So, so, so let's keep going. So, so not only that, but now you distracted because you got this narcissist in your life. Now you distracted by tri triangulation. Now you trying to confront every new supply and, and the narcissist because you're trying to find out the truth. So now you got this whole big triangle sitting in your face. That you trying to you trying to confront every new supply or everybody that you see in that phone, you trying to to uh to confront them and and, and the narcissist because you trying to find out the truth. And guess what? You ain't gonna do nothing but find it. The narcissist is never gonna do nothing but tell you lie after lie. And then every time you go to those new suppliers, what they gonna do? Disrespect you. Well, if you had, if it's if it's your man, then why are you calling me? If that's your woman, 
then why why you why you over here talking to me man why you over there yes hey miss carter yes this is how the distractions play out in your life when you are dealing with someone that has been sent by the kingdom of darkness, all of it. Now, mind you, what I, I need y'all to understand, Cold Brew, is that now, mind you, all, while all of this is happening, time is passing. You are losing time and ground every day while all of this is happening. All right, let me keep going. Now you distracted by the works of the flesh that are operating in the narcissist. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. With the works of the flesh, do we need to talk about? Oh, let me go talk about the works of the flesh. We need to just, let, let's just go there. Because see, this is a whole system. Yeah, let's, let's go there. Let's talk about the works of the flesh. Come on, we need to talk about it. Come on, Galatians, Galatians. Uh, 5 19 through 21 where it talks about the works of the flesh it says now the works of the flesh are evident and i know that y'all are going to testify come on here somebody that when you were when you were with the narcissist i know that i was i was battling with these because you're not going to be with a narcissist and don't battle with this so it's saying here in the new king james version let me go to the let me just go to the king james version on this Let's go to the King James Version. Let's go to KJV on it. Let's go to KJV. Let's see. KJV, where is it? Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Right there. Now. Let me go back over here and change it right here. Y'all gonna get this tonight because see this right here. When you understand, when you understand that you need, you're you're going to have to. You're gonna you're gonna have to look at these. You're gonna have to pay attention to this because what you have to understand is that God is sending this message because too many people are distracted. Okay, here we go. Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Okay. Now tell me you didn't you didn't experience this with the narcissist. Listen, at some point, some this gonna hit some of y'all. Come on here. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry. Come on, you don't put the narcissist up before God. That's why your prayer life is gone, your word life is gone. You don't stop going to church. You don't even say grace over your food anymore. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. Witchcraft, hatred, variance emulations, rap, strife, seditions, heresies. Come on. Verse 21, envyings. The narcissist envied you, was so jealous of you. I told you in a video this week, jealousy is as cruel as the grave, y'all. It's as cruel as the grave. Come on. Envyings, murderers, drunkenness, ravelings, and such like of such like of the which I tell you before. As I also, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So, now, you with a whole distraction that's got at least, at least 70% of those things going on. 70% of those things going on, you distracted. And they are over there working all the works of the flesh. How in the world are you going to get to purpose and destiny? You see how the enemy is trying to really, I'm talking about flatline you. Because when we talk about the works of the flesh, these things are layered. And you are dealing with just about all of these things when you are dealing with a narcissist. Thank you so much, Tim. God bless you. He says, thank you for the generous super chat. He said, greater is he that is in the, greater is he in us than he in the, he that is in the world. The narc says we are losers. Every day we go to war with that statement. From the moment we open, ooh, I love that. Oh, the moment we open our 
eyes and close them. We are champions. Failure is not an option. Stay strong. Stay safe. The moment you open your eyes from the time you open your eyes in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, it is spiritual warfare. Come on, Narcissus Info, Miss Latoya. Come on. And you don't even know how to fight. You, you, uh, yo, we've been told that the whole battle is spiritual, but you don't know how to fight. How in the world am I going to fight a spiritual battle with scriptures that I don't understand? Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Come out of carnality. You got to come out of that. You got to learn how to engage the enemy and fight from a place of victory. We don't fight for victory. Come on, Lynn Reynolds. We fight from victory. Why? Because when you understand that the parent world is the spirit world, that actually, in, that, that is what affects this natural world. Come on. You will understand how to beat this thing down in the realm of the spirit. So come on. We go on with the distractions. Come on, let's keep going with the distractions. I'm coming down your lane. So you, you are distracted with the works of the flesh, operating in the narcissist that you cannot bring under control. So watch this. So you obsess, you obsess and agonize over the narcissist behavior instead of focusing on God to heal your own, your behavior. You see that? You go to agonizing. You go to agonizing over the narcissist's behavior instead of focusing on God to heal your own behavior. I'm talking to somebody tonight. You are focusing and agonizing, obsessing over the narcissist's behavior that you can't control instead of focusing on God and asking him to heal your own behavior. Because you done stepped all the way outside of the will of God. Oh, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Y'all hit that like button tonight. Facebook, y'all share this, please. Because if you get these principles, if you really start to just focus on this thing, I promise you, I promise you, the Lord will bless you. Just take the, he said, that, he said, listen. The carnal man is at enmity with God. What did that? What does that mean? That you are in, you are your carnality is an enemy to him. He don't want to talk to your to your flesh to your carnality, Sharon. He don't want to talk to that. Orlando thirty three. Come on, Julie. He don't want to talk to that. He wants to deal with your spirit man. He wants to deal with that. So now you distracted by see see, and this is another distraction that they bring in. Now you're distracted by your mental health conditions. You only two steps away from a 72 hour hold and a psychotic break because you're dealing with all of this mess that this narcissist is bringing to you. You only two steps away from a 72 hour hold and a psychotic break. Now your greatest effort is making sure that you keep your mental health in, in, in mental health in check. So now you're distracted by your mental health. You two steps away. How many of you going to testify that you had thoughts that you were going to have to check yourself in dealing with the narcissist? Come on in the chat. By show of twos in the chat. How many of you are going to testify that you almost had to check yourself in? Some of y'all did check yourself in. Come on. I know I thought one time or two I was going to have to check myself in because I was like, this fool is all the way crazy. Who going to be real? and testify. Y'all see these twos coming up in the chat? See, that's how you know that God is right here. See, God knows what he need. He knows what's needed in the house, Donald Buckley. Come on, he knows virtuous ministry, what, what is needed, Vicki Alvarez, because the law, listen, he, look, Tim said 22. They will, they will make you think that you losing your mind. So now your mental health is a distraction. All because you have, y'all listen, do y'all understand? Y'all see that? Melissa Griffin, come on. I see you train, train. See Facebook testifying too. Listen, y'all, all because of this one person that's in your life. I want y'all to really focus on this because this person is only a reinforcement of, of probably some toxic family member or caregiver from your past, Lisa, Lisa. So it's reinforcement. This is how the enemy does. 
He didn't get you, Kenyatta Johnson. He couldn't get you, hey, yo, no. He couldn't get you as a child. He didn't level you then. You pushed past that, Marilyn. So now he got to send somebody, a renewed mind, to jack you up on this side. So now you're distracted by your mental health. All right, let's keep going. So not only are you distracted by your mental health and everything else that we done talked about, now you distracted by sex. Uh-oh. Come on, fornication. Come on, adultery. Hello, Facebook. Come on. Now you are distracted by sex because most of you entered into that illegal covenant. Come on. Sex is, I told y'all before, sex is, a, is it, I, I saw a post where they, they talked about it was a ritual, but I told y'all it's worship. It's worship to somebody. If you're having it in the confines, HT, if you're having it in, in, the, in the correct confines, which is in a marital covenant, the way God has instituted it, then that's a form of worship because you are, because he called us to come together to procreate and to, and, and, and he called us to come together in that way, a man and a woman. All right. But if you're doing it outside of the covenant, that God has instituted, then guess what? That's worship to, to, a, to a demonic entity. That's worship in the kingdom of darkness. Do you know that sex is one of the ways that they, that, that they initiate, they, they perform rituals in the occult? That's one of the easiest ways to bind a soul. Come on. Why do you think they try, why do you, why do you think they want to make pedophilia a sexual orientation. The enemy want to get these kids young. Y'all better wake up. Wake up. Yes, delicate lace. That's right, Vicky's Alvarez, soul ties. So your soul can be tied to these demonic altars that you don't have any knowledge of. Ooh, who am I talking to tonight? Oh, I'm going deep. In the realm of the spirit, because you all, you, you need to know what's happening. You sit up, you, you go, you, you listen to the programs, you go to church, you come home, you pray, you do the everything on repeat, repeat, repeat. And you still defeat it. Why? Because you don't understand narcissist repellent that life is spiritual. And you can't fight this. See, listen, I'm going to tell you, once you engage a person in flesh and blood, when you start arguing with a person back and forth, you already lost the battle. You already lost the battle. You are arguing with what's done already happened. What happened was the reason you arguing with this person is because the attack that happened in the realm of the spirit. See, if you could have nullified that thing over there, you wouldn't even be arguing with this person. Facebook got me. They get, they hear what I'm saying. YouTube, do you hear what I'm saying, y'all? I'm dropping some knowledge on you. Tarsha Edwards, hear me when I tell you this. You want, you sitting up there arguing with this when you arguing with your husband or your wife. Are right, you doing this and you doing that? Da, da, da. Y'all don't even know it's a whole spirit that's attacked your husband. Hello. Come on, it's a whole spirit that has attacked your wife. That's why you arguing. You don't bind the person, you bind the spirit. So now you're distracted by sex and now you become a slave to your own emotions and feelings when a connection was never even there. Hello. You have become, thank you so much, Crystal. I see you on the cash app, sis. God bless you for that generous cash app. Listen. You don't become, you distracted by sex and now you become a slave to your own emotions and feelings when there was no connection ever even there with the narcissist. Instead of focusing on your connection with the most high God that could not, that, that could not reside in that situation. See, your connection with the most high was gone because the Holy Spirit can't say, he can't stay around for that mess. You in a whole fornicating situation or some of you were in adultery. Some of y'all was married to him. Do you know that you can do things illicitly in your bedroom? The Bible says that the marriage bed is undefiled. But it, it, but listen, come on here. If y'all doing the same things in your bedroom that the, that the people on the, uh-oh, I'm finna I'm fin mess somebody up right now. I'm finna mess you up 
right now. But I don't care. It need to be said. I'm about to mess some of y'all up. Y'all better hit that share button because I'm finna mess some folks up. If you doing the same thing in your marital bed that they doing on a pornography flick, you got a problem. I said it. Why you think he full of lust? If you doing the same thing that the enemy doing on a porn flick, you got a problem. And you wondering why your husband or your wife got wandering eyes? Because you invited a spirit into your bedroom. Listen, but God aligned this body perfectly. Hello, somebody. He aligned this body perfectly. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And when you look at a man, everything is where it's supposed to be. Hello. Y'all, I, 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 I know, I know, I know I'm talking to somebody tonight. If you're doing the same thing that, that they're doing on a pornography flick, you got a problem. You wonder why your husband looking around at other women because he's trying to see if he can get them to do the same thing that you, that, that you might not be doing too well. He trying to see if he can get a different feeling from them. If your wife is walking, if she looking around at the, thank you so much, Animal Rebos, for sharing this stream on Facebook. If your wife walk around looking at other men, she trying to see if he can get, she, she can get him, get another man to do something a little different. Do something strange for a piece of change. Come on here. I'm telling you, this is how it goes. See, see, you got, you got to understand that this thing is spiritual. Why do you think the enemy made porn? Because he wanted to show his people how to perform certain acts. Y'all, you remember I made that video? Remember I made that video uh, about, you know, how the narcissist prefers the, uh, the, the export doc as opposed to the import? Remember I made that video talking about the front door and the back door? What y'all need to know is that when these people are out in these occults doing all of this, 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 this sex and this rituals and things like that, 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 that uh, opening back there, y'all want to know what, what, what they refer to that as? They refer to that as the mouth of Satan. Did you hear what I said? See, when you don't study and when you don't learn spiritual warfare, and I'm not telling y'all to go study because some of y'all don't have the grace to study what happens in these occult religions. They call that the mouth of Satan back there. Why? And it's a perfect fit because what comes out of it is nothing but it's waste. What is he? He's trash. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this knowledge because when you understand what's happening, you, you, when, you, when you see what, what God is trying to show you, when you come into, when you come into right standing with God, and you come away from these distractions and you get along with him and you allow him to teach you. He will show you these things. Why? Because you need to know. The world is not going to tell you these. things. Exactly. I see y'all. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's gross. But it is what it is. It is what it is. You need to focus on your connection with the most high. But see, you distracted and you don't be you've been distracted by sex. See, the narcissist overloads you with, with sex and overloads your sensories in the beginning because he wants you to think that you have a connection. All you own is sensory overload, Angela Roche. You just on sensory overload. You ain't got a connection. With what? They not even open. You, you are dealing with a whole false self, Maria Smith. You are dealing with a whole false self, Facebook. How you got a connection with an ego? That's a demon. Come on. God is not the Holy Spirit. It, the Most High God wasn't residing in that situation. Y'all had done kicked him out with all of the stuff you're doing. Come on. Let's keep moving. Distracted by what you call love, but it was only idolization. You was only idolizing because you did not love yourself. And you shown up wasn't loving God. How you going to love somebody when you don't love yourself? How do we know that we didn't love ourselves because of the abuse that we allowed them to enact upon us? When you love yourself, you put up boundaries. When you love yourself, it's a whole lot of no's. And it's some yeses in there too. 
But when you love yourself, there's just some things that you're just not going to allow people to do. Why? Because you understand that you have, thank you so much, Miss P. I see you on the cash app. God bless you, sis. There are there's just some things that you understand that you cannot allow in your life. Why? Because you have a standard. You have a standard. You are you have been taught by Jehovah Mitsuan. Come on, the God of excellence. Distracted. This is what I'm saying, distracted by you, by something that you call love, but you're just in idolization. You're just idolizing them because you don't even love yourself. Only God can show you how to truly love. You love him, he shows you how to love yourself. Charity begins at home. A lot of you don't even know how to love because you weren't shown properly in the homes that you were, that you were raised in true love. You weren't even shown that. Because they had have been, have been traumatized and the, uh, the generation from them traumatized and the one before them traumatized. Have y'all ever seen families where rape and molestation comes down the line? You know, unwed mothers come down the line. All of these different spirits of infirmity goes, comes down the line. Those are called generational curses. Hello, somebody. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Hello. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Hear me when I say distracted, just distracted by this, 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 this person that you have allowed into your life. Distracted, listen, come on, distracted by the pain of your past that only wanted you to feel the same as the narcissist. The pain of your past that only wanted you to feel the same as the narcissist. Miserable hurt confused angry alone the pain of your past that's what it wanted you to feel that trauma keeps on following you until you turn around and say no no more i'm gonna learn how to engage you in the realm of the spirit i'm gonna engage the enemy in the realm of the spirit i'm going to nullify these attacks on my life because now i know that that, that this life has nothing to do with the with the physical man it has everything to do what is happening with what is happening in the celestial world which is the spirit world i'm not taking this anymore what I'm going to do is get on my knees because I'm going to I'm, I'm going to nullify these distractions in my life. Come on. I'm going on down the lane, distracted by rejection and offense uh, and offense until your life makes no sense. Who am I talking to tonight? You are distracted by rejection, by the spirit of rejection. And the spirit of offense until your life makes no sense. Can't keep good people in your life. Distracted. You so rejected that you want to be a part of everything and anything. And you don't even, don't even matter if it's not of God. You just want to feel a part of something. Because you so rejected and you walk around with that spirit and you and you, you wonder why the favor of God is not moving on your life because you don't know who you are. You think these spirits don't know that they already attacked you over there. They know you got a spirit of rejection walking and you walking around uh, with a whole spirit of reject distracted. Distracted y'all. Distracted. By, by, by the spirit of rejection and offense, you just offended about everything. You so sensitive about everything. One thing about the spirit of offense, it tells you the lie that's, that, that this person, because uh, what, what's behind it? Because what's going to parent that whole situation is Leviathan. Leviathan is going to tell you that that person is coming to hurt you. That's what Leviathan is telling you is that that person is coming to hurt you. And the only reason Leviathan is telling you that is because Leviathan don't want these strong people around you. That's why they Leviathan makes you see these people as competition. Because he wants you to he wants you to become jealous of them. He wants you to find nitpicking any little thing about that person. He don't want them in your life. Why? Because if that person remains in your life, they're going to help you grow to the next level. Who am I talking to tonight? 
Who am I talking to? Rejection and offense is going to be guarded by the spirit of pride. That's Leviathan. The Bible tells you that Le the Leviathan is the spirit of the children of pride. Distracted. You got to shut down these demonic systems. These demonic systems have to be shut down. Now, we, we talked about the, distra the distractions all because you allowed this, mm, this soldier on a mission from the kingdom of darkness. And somebody asked in the comments, what about the demonic systems? Let me tell you something about these demonic systems of delay. Because distraction is a whole system within itself. It's a whole system. I just told y'all, I just showed y'all right there by all of these different distractions that I've listed right there, how you became distracted by this narcissist and everything that they were bringing into your life, not to mention the works of the flesh. Then you got to go off on a whole situation. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, please. This is, this is the type of teaching that you need in order to grow to go to the next level, to go to that place of not just healing, but a wholeness. Come on, Sonny. Thank you so much, uh, Kaya Howard. God bless you for that generous uh, super sticker. God bless you, sis. This is this is where you got to go. You're not going to you're not going to win. You're not going to win against the enemy until you learn that you are distracted by things that don't even matter. Anything that's pulling you away from God and your relationship with him is a distraction. That's a distraction. It, because remember, the enemy's job is to cancel your purpose and destiny. Flatline you. And, 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 or, or delay you severely that you don't finish. Or will you just barely get there? But you can never get to the place called purpose you keep going at it and at it and at it. You, you, some of y'all were on the road. Y'all were going real, real good. You were going really good. That's why the Bible said you ran well, but what hindered you? Study the word. You gotta, you gotta study the word. Oh, you ran well, but what hindered you? Come on here, somebody. Thank you so much, Narcissist Info, for that generous super sticker. God bless you, my brother. What hindered you, y'all? Come on. So we're talking about shutting down these demonic systems of delay, procrastination. Distraction is a whole situation in and of itself. That's a whole system. It's also under these, this demonic system of delay. But I had to bring out distraction because distraction is one that, that typically nullifies a lot of, I mean, dynamic, gifted people. Distraction takes them down, Facebook. Come on, takes them down. They can't move past that whole system of distraction. This is why I had to highlight that one. But there are other things that, that are used in, in, in this demonic system of delay. That they're all that they are their own little separate systems. Come on, Timothy. God bless you, my brother, for that generous super uh sticker. He super chat. He says, Jesus said unto him, Jesus said unto him, No one has ever put their hands on the plow and looked back and is fit for the kingdom. Ooh he said it in his word 24 7 120 365 all in nothing less come on winners and champions we run with the best don't look back glory to god that part right there once you get started and once you cross over to that place of, of going, listen, I'm going head first for my healing. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you try to put this thing. I'm going head first. I'm not looking back. He said it right there. It's right there in the scripture. Amen to that. That's right, Angela. Because it's the absolute truth. That's the word of God, Jamila. This is what he's saying to us. You got to stop that. That system of distraction is something else. But guess what? There's a thing called procrastination. 
oh help me holy ghost how many of y'all going to testify that y'all deal with that procrastination, Crystal Gatewood? Come on, Dr. Rock. How many of y'all are going to testify, Ronald Barnes, that you deal? Come on, Facebook. You wrestle with procrastination. Let me go ahead and put my one in the chat. Let me go ahead and put my one in the chat. And I'm going to tell you about all of these things right here. I'm going to tell y'all how to beat them. That's why y'all need to get, yeah, go ahead and put your one in the chat. I'm going to show y'all how to, how to overcome these things. I'm going to show y'all how to overcome these things. Y'all make sure you, so y'all got to hang around to the end. Y'all make sure y'all share this, get some more folks in here. Y'all make sure that you have hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Close your chat real quick and hit the like button for us please. Thank you so much. I see you, Lisa, Lisa. All right, Jay Marie, come on, faith face. You, you see that? Procrastination is a whole system within itself. You know what the enemy does first? He, he, he gets you distracted with, he gets you distracted with these distractions, right? And then when you get distracted, what you start to do, because now you're dealing with everything that don't have nothing to do with what you really need to be doing. Now you, because there's so much on your mind. The main thing with distraction is that he clogs your mind with all types of mind binding, mind binding, mind confusion. I mean, you can't get anything in order. You sit out and you say, okay, I'm going to make a list and I'm going to get all of this done and you never get it done. Why? Because you 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 distracted by you 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 are distracted by your distractions. Now your distractions has caused you to have this procrastination thing going on, because you got too much going on upstairs. There's too much noise, too much noise in the soul. So you start procrastinating. I'm gonna get to it tomorrow. I'm talking to somebody in here tonight. I'm gonna get to it tomorrow. I'm gonna get to it the next day. I'm gonna get to it this and that. You got then two months, two days, two weeks, two months, two years, 20 years pass by and you never get it done. Procrastination. What else? See, that's that's a whole thing. But see, procrastination, it, it, it goes with that with that mind blocking. He clouds your mind with a whole lot of thoughts and and, and, and all of this stuff that doesn't matter, Bianca. This is what he does. So you see how these little these these things right here these these things that we are uncovering are whole little systems within themselves. Come on, lack of faith, talk to me. That's another one, man. If he can hit you with that, if he can get you with that lack of faith, oh, he he done straight slayed you because he took the now. If he can hit you with that lack of faith, he just took the he straight took the currency of heaven off of you. If you don't, if you can't have faith in, in, in what God has already told you that he was going to do, he said, what did he say? He, the Bible says that without faith, it's what? Impossible, Rachel McPherson, to please God. So if he can take faith off of you, what he's literally done is he has basically, he has extracted the currency of heaven off your life. You, you just, if you don't have faith, you just messed up. Retarded dwarf. Cretia Cheatham, you messed up. You can and see, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Mr. Miller, this is what it's, that's, this is what the word of God says. This is why you have to, Lori Thomason, New Waters 2020, you gotta have the Holy Spirit to help you harness the things of the spirit realm to the, the gifts of the, of the spirit. Come on. The, the, uh, the fruit of the spirit, you got to have the Holy, Holy Spirit. So these things will be manifest in your life. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Come on. Lack of confidence. This is another one. We're talking about uncovering these demonic systems of delight. If you don't have confidence in your life, you ain't going to do nothing. You just, that right there would just stagnate you. You are afraid of succeeding and afraid of failing. Tell me how bad that is. You just stuck. Lack of faith. System of delay. 
Because if you don't have faith, that's going to be, I mean, that you go, they took the currency of heaven off and you can't even get anything from heaven. You got lack of confidence in yourself. You are afraid of succeeding and you are afraid of failing. You are afraid of doing both. That is going to delay you. You need some confidence. Come on. And your confidence has to be in God. It can't be in yourself. Oh, I need y'all to hear me, Joshua. Pamela Moody. Come on. I need y'all to hear me, Tracy Fields. Aggravation. That's another one. We're uncovering these demonic systems of delay. Aggravation can even become a portal. Why? I see you, Trace, a uh, Tiffany Reed on the Cash App. God bless you, sis. Thank you so much for that. See, aggravation can literally become a portal. Why? Because you got what you're gonna do. What's the first thing that happens when you get at what's the next thing that happens when you get aggravated? You're gonna get angry. Anger is a whole portal, y'all. The enemy can work against you through aggravation by sending in, because y'all need to understand that spirits travel in groupings. They work in tandem. Aggravation can become a whole demonic portal in your life. That is deep, Miss P, daughter of the king. Come on. I'm laying it out for you. So you can't say after this stream. That's why I told y'all share, share, share. People need to hear this. Aggravation. Now you angry. You got a whole portal open. If you got a witch or warlock over there trying to hit you with something, all they got to do, oh, they angry. They got unforgiveness. Delays. Demonic system of delays. Aggravation is a huge one. The enemy will use that against you. He aggravates you, just frustrates you. That's the next one. Frustration. You frustrated. You don't know how to believe. You don't know how to walk. You don't know how to fight. All of this is happening. You frustrated because you distracted. Oh, who am I talking to? Come on. Lisa Clinton, Natasha uh, Wineless, distracted. But now you got a whole spirit of frustration on you. They done hit your terrestrial. The enemy done hit your spirit man over in the realm of the spirit. And now you frustrated right here in the natural. This is how it's done. Enemy ain't going to sit there and try to fight you in the natural. Why? He already know how to do it to you. When you're not walking upright before God, you got iniquity in your life. What you think unrepentant sin is? When you keep on doing the same thing over and over you keep sinning, doing the same sin over and over. Come on here. You are going to set up iniquity in your life. And this is how these demonic portals and altars get set up. You messed up. You messed up. The enemy will jack you all the way up because he, he thrives off of your ignorance. You don't know. You don't know. I love you too, sis. You don't know, Tasha. I, you don't understand what's happening. He plays off of your ignorance. Thank you so much, Maria Smith, for that generous uh, super sticker. God bless you, sis. I see you, Orlando, on the cash app. God bless you. You don't know. So you messed up. You frustrated. You aggravated. Now you got, you got a whole altar open. You don't even know. These demonic covenants have been made. Remember, I'm going to tell y'all my testimony. I'm going to tell you how you fight. You understand what I'm saying? And what happens when you fight? You get what I'm saying? This is what you got to do. You got to understand what's happening. You got to understand how to go into the realm of the spirit and take back what belongs to you. The enemy don't have rights to take this stuff away from you. You have to give him the rights. Come on, disappointments. That's another demonic system of delay. Disappointments happening over and over and over in your life will just literally delay you. Because you just get so disappointed. you like, I don't know. I just don't know. Because you already messed up with lack of faith, procrastination, lack of confidence. You're afraid of succeeding and, and afraid of failing. How are you going to be afraid of succeeding and afraid of failing at the same time? But this is how the enemy attacks you because you powerful. 
because he knows that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And if you just understand how to engage in the spirit world and how to take back your power, why you think the Bible tells you life and death is in the power of the tongue? You have the power to make his, whatever he's doing, his demonic agenda, agenda come to pass in the earth realm. He can't do it without you. That's why he needs you to speak curses. People that are out there working, the, uh, working uh, in the kingdom of darkness. If they, it just as hard as they speak curses, you ought to be speaking blessings over your life. You ought to be confessing what God has told you that come on here, somebody that he has given you. They show believe in cursing folks. Do you believe? Do you believe in blessing yourself? Do you believe in speaking blessings over yourself? Why you think life and death is in the power of your tongue? The enemy ain't got a tongue. He don't have a tongue. Demons don't either. That's why they use yours. I just bless somebody right there. I just bless somebody right there. Somebody just got that. Somebody caught what I just said. That just blessed. I'm going to put a fire in the chat right there. I, I'm, I'm going to have to put one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to have to go ahead and put some fire. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I, I just bless somebody. The Lord just, let, let, let me just, let me not take this for myself. The, 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 the spirit of the Most High God just, just blessed somebody right there. Thank you so much, uh, Power Dynamics for Life. God bless you, sis. Thank you for that generous super sticker. D did you get that? That's right. That's right, uh, Ellie Talks TV going off. Come on. That's it. Somebody got blessed. I see y'all. Okay, so y'all y'all felt me on that one. Y'all 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 heard the spirit of the Lord. That's why you, what you say matters. What you say matters. He has to use you to bring his demonic agenda. Listen, the enemy is dead when you really look at it because death really means the absence of God. When we're talking about the spirit world, he is a disembodied spirit. He was designed to live in heaven, Demetria Price. But when he got kicked out of heaven, along with the angels, a third of the angels that fell with him now, just like the demons, they're disembodied. But you full of God, full of the spirit of life, they got to you. He can't create anything. He can only imitate. He can't create. He needs you. That's why he fights so hard to stay in the bloodlines. That's why he fights so hard to keep you tied, your family tied to these demonic covenants and altars. Because he wants to remain relevant in the earth realm and he needs a body to do it. That's why we're talking about these distractions because they are demonic. They're demonic, y'all. They're demonic. So disappointments, another delay, lustful desires. Who am I talking to? You can't get past your lustful desires and lust don't just have to necessarily do with sex. People can have lust of the eyes. You get out here watching all of these people on TV. They live in their best life. They doing this, they doing that. They on the private jets, they flying, they this and that and the other. Listen, God can give you that ministry too. He can give you, he can give you things like that too, but you shouldn't be after that. You ought to be after what God has promised you, which is your, he, you, what he has commissioned you to do, which is your purpose and destiny. And if that is something that he desires to give to you, then fine. But you get, you, you get the lustful desires of the eyes going. And the enemy know just how to do it. You know what he does? He sent a monitoring spirit to monitor what you, what you are entertaining yourself with. Hello, somebody. What you entertaining yourself with? Thank you so much, Linda Best, for that generous super sticker. God bless you, sis. He want to see what you, he got a monitoring spirit sitting there right there, monitor what you entertaining yourself with. Then he sends you all these lustful desires because now he know what you looking at. You better be careful what you let into your eye gates, your ear gates, even your nose, and definitely your mouth. Come on, quit eating at everybody's table. Some of y'all going to tables and eating up sorcery. 
at somebody else's table. You don't even know that this person is jealous of you because you're not connected to the Holy Ghost that's showing you what's happening, and uh, Allison Glover. Come on, Sakina, Priscilla Smith. You don't even know. Person got a whole vendetta against you. Jealous is all get out. Talking behind your back and everything else. You breaking bread with the person because you're distracted. Lustful desires, huge delay. Because you focused on the desire instead of focusing on your purpose and destiny. This is how the enemy destroys you. This is how he does it. This is how he does it. I'm telling y'all, if you, if you take this, if you really listen to this live stream and you really take these things into, into and, and, and I mean, just really roll them over in your heart and your mind. You go you and you and you begin to do something about this in the realm of the spirit. Let me tell you something. Your life is going to change. No relationship with God. Come on. So you can't get to purpose and destiny. This is what all of these things are designed to do is to basically to make you abort your relationship with God. So you can't get to purpose and destiny. These are things, these things that I've listed right here, these frustration, aggravation, disappointment, lustful desires. These are all demonic little systems within themselves. Facebook, YouTube, this is just distracted. All orchestrated to cause you to not make purpose and destiny. And the devil is alive. We uncovering this thing tonight. We are uncovering this thing tonight. See, when you understand, when you understand how to move in the realm of the spirit, when you understand the power that you hold, let me tell you what I did. Let's talk about this testimony. This is how you understand the power that, that you harness in the realm of the spirit. Come on. Let me tell you about this testimony. There, I, I, I've been dealing with a situation in my life. And some of you all know, because I've talked about it before. OK, been dealing with a situation where I know a person has worked some sorcery in a way where it's affected members in my family. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you what I decided that I was going to do, because what you have to understand is you got to understand your power. You have to understand your power and you got to understand the word of God. You always go back to the rule book, which is the word of God. Who am I talking to? Share this. I'm going to tell y'all this testimony. Share this. Thank you so much, Louise. God bless you for that generous super sticker. Come on. So I decided that I was going to untie some souls. Who am I talking to tonight? See, a lot of times when things begin to manifest in the natural realm, it's because things, demonic covenants and ties, souls have been tied to demonic altars and demonic entities have been placed on your celestial body and you don't even know. So I decided I was going to untie some souls. What you need to understand is when you start untying souls, witches get, bam, they feel that thing. Listen, 12 hours later, Y'all want to hear what happened? 12 hours later, this lets you know the power of the living God and the power of the words you speak. 12 hours later, when I tell you I got a message that was so demonic, that was calling me everything that this person was themselves, you already know. Now, this person that I ain't heard from these people in, over, in, in some years. Ain't bothered me at all in years. Oh, but when I went into the realm of the spirit and I started to untie some stuff. See, this is when you get cold. You get cold when you know how to command that other realm over there. But see, it, it don't work when you got sin in your life, unrepentant sin, and you working in iniquity yourself. See, this vessel right here is hollowed out for the Holy Ghost. Come on here. But guess what? Why did I get that message? Because when I went into the realm of the spirit and I began to pray like I did and I began to, to, to use the legal things that work in the realm of the spirit and I began to undo and untie some things. 
the same demons that were being used to tie the souls now went to attack the person that caused them to be tied in the first place. Who am I talking to? This person became tormented even the more. Hello, somebody. Because what you speak is powerful. Know that. I told you. I said, what did I say? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. The spirit world needs you to speak it. The kingdom of darkness needs you to speak it. They don't have no tongues over there. That's why the Bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's why they use Obey, uh, Sangomas, Santaria, all of these people, because they need bodies to speak for them. You better hear me tonight. You better learn how to speak the word of God. You better learn how to harness your faith and learn how to engage the enemy in the realm of the spirit so that you can be powerful for the kingdom of righteousness. How you think 12 hours later, I'm, I ain't heard from these people in years and all of a sudden when I go in and start untying and undoing things and now I'm getting messages that's just demonic. Cuss me out from Amazing Grace Tour. And guess what? They did it on an anonymous text. Narcs are, are cowards, but they had to, anytime you undo something that a witch or warlock or what, if you undo that thing, they come in for you. Come on. They come in for you, cold brew. Cold brew say, you just, what you just woke me up. Come on here. I don't fuss with people. I don't fuss and argue with you because I know what I can do. I know what I can do and I'm not boasting and bragging because it's not, it's not me. It's the spirit of God that works inside of me because I trust God, D majesty. Good to see you, my brother. I trust him. I live by his laws, his rules, his ordinance, and his statutes. I don't deal in carnality. I don't even want to be bothered with carnal Christians. If you carnal, you cool. You my sister. But I don't really want to really engage in that spirit you got because I don't want to start thinking on that level because I understand that this thing is spiritual. I know what I'm doing. Carnal, carnal people are still trying to figure it out. You can't talk to them. It has to be a spirit that has to be broken off of them for them to hear that this thing is spiritual. And until that happens, they're going to remain in carnality. That's just the way that it is. You got, this is why the Bible says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. This is why. How many of y'all never knew about people being untied from, I untied them from the altar, which released them from the demonic entities that was, that was holding their celestial body uh, incarcerated. Come on, they're, they're, it was incarcerating them in the celestial realm and untied them from the covenants. Come on, I want it all. You got to know how to do this thing. You got to know what you're doing. Otherwise, the enemy is going to flatline you. He going to level you. You won't have a, you won't have a clue. You won't have a dog in the fight because you don't know how to fight. You don't know how to fight. Oh, you you get you get you do what they tell you to do. You beg God for everything. Oh, I'm beg Lord do this. Lord do that. Lord do this. You get on your knees and beg him for everything and get up off your knees and as soon as you get up off your knees, the next morning the enemy hits you with a bam. Queen Shanny hits you with a oh, now this going down. Oh, I got I was just praying about that. No, 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 no. You was just begging last night. Hello, somebody. Who am I talking to? You was just begging last night. The enemy hit you because he heard you begging. You don't know how to engage him. He don't mind you begging. He don't mind. What he minds is when you understand your power in the realm of the spirit. That's what he minds. Because, see, you, don't, you won't understand your power in the realm of the spirit until you carry the presence of the living God. And the only way that you can do that is got to step out of carnality. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I 
talking to tonight, you got to understand how to step out of carnality. You will never be able to do anything. I got you, sis. You will never be able to do anything and to excel and do what you need to do in this life. Distracted. Come on here. Distracted by everything that don't matter. And the things that do matter, you can't learn those things because you are too distracted to get with God and form that right relationship with him. Thank you, uh, Roby J. Say so you you can't just drop uh, the mic right now. God done wrecked this place through you. <laughs> Listen, the Holy Ghost is talking tonight. This is important. This is important. Y'all hit that like button. We got 411 people in here. How many likes? We got 379. Come on, let's make the likes match the, the people in the room. This is why, uh, 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 Atsar, this is why God is sending this message. He's sending this message because it's necessary in this dispensation. Learn how to fight. Thank you, Facebook, for sharing. We go live every Thursday. Every Thursday night, this is the type of this is the type of teaching that's going to help you grow. This is the type of teaching that's going to help you fight. Use your power to speak well over yourself. Use your power to do the things in the realm of the spirit that God has commanded you to do. Come on, Terry says I'm a spiritual gang. You know, listen, I, I, I go hard for God. Come on. I, I, I call, I, I say, see people that know how to fight in the realm of the spirit, Terry, see what they call us is special ops. We the ones that they call in when the folks get through begging, they can't get it done. We got to go in, we got to go into special ops mode. Come on, carnal Christianity. I see you Karen, on the cash app. God bless you. Thank you so much. A carnal be, be, believer is only going to keep you busted and disgusted, frustrated, aggravated. You got to learn how to come out of that and, and, and walk in the spirit. He said, for we walk, walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Come on. That's where it is. Uh, crystal clear clarity. Thank you so much for the uh, super uh, chat it says the devil crept in when I was feeling lonely and I thought the narc was sent by, uh, sent by God to me, my, uh, my mate, I learned I was never alone just being deceived. Come on. That's what, that's what the enemy does. That's what the enemy does. Every Thursday night, we going to be tearing these myths down. I'm going to be teaching y'all every Thursday night. We're going higher and higher uh, about how to fight this thing in the realm of the spirit. Become spiritual gangsters in the name of Jesus. Some snipers that baby, when they come to you, they better know what they are doing. Come on here, somebody. I see you, Abby, on the cash app. They better know what they're doing because, honey, listen, let me tell you something. When you become cold in this walk and you allow God to infiltrate every area of your life and you begin to walk in the spirit, let them try it. Baby, let me tell you something. God says, touch not mine anointed and do my prophet no harm. I don't worry about it because I'm, I'm, that, I'm that verse. I am that verse. I'm who he's talking about. Are you who he's talking about? I, I am included in that scripture right there. Are you included? That's what I want to, that's the question I want to ask. Come on, Shoma D. Thank you so much for that generous super sticker. So true. I stopped being productive since the narc happened. God showed me the very thing that gave me my freedom back. Thanks, beautiful uh, soul for clarity. You're so welcome. All glory and praise and honor goes to God. Come on here. We are breaking these destiny altering covenants tonight. When you pray, you ask God to break every destiny altering covenant. Do you hear me? A lot of destinies have been altered through, through just associations with folks that we had no business being around. Destinies has been altered. People have been canceled in the realm of the spirit, distracted 
This is how he did. This is how he counsels people. It's through distraction. Just counsel your whole everything. Finances, house, car, job. Counsel you through distractions. The narcissist was a whole distraction. That's why you couldn't fare sumptuously with the narcissist. Whole distraction. Thank you so much, uh, Mercy. Zo uh, is it Zawade? Thank you so much. God bless you for that generous super sticker. This is what happened, y'all. So we're praying. I'm going to be praying tonight that God will counsel these covenant alter these death these covenants that have altered your destiny. So Father, we thank you right now. We thank you so much for all that you've done, Lord, all that you have shared in this stream every single thing that you have done for us lord every download that you have given us every word every note that that you have given me to give to the people of god father we know you as i am that i am father you are the god of abraham isaac and jacob lord you are the god you are the everlasting father lord if you don't do it who will do it for us father if you don't teach us, who will teach us, Father? Lord, send the word through our leadership in our respective places where we worship God. Send the word through our leadership. Lord, bless the leaders everywhere. Father, we just thank you for your spirit that just surrounds us. Angels, we invite you into this prayer as well. Thank you for being present all throughout this stream. Spirit of the living God, thank you. Thank you so much for surrounding us. I command the floors of our homes to be on fire with your presence. Father, we thank you for your presence. Lord, we thank you for the angels that you have given charge over us. Oh, God, Lord, we just kneel before your throne right now, Father. We empty out. We empty out right now. And we say, Lord, forgive us for every sin, God, every transgression. In the name of Jesus, Father, we cancel iniquity in the lives of the people, Lord. We repent of it. We uproot it. We overthrow these demonic systems. In the name of Jesus, these things that are that are designed to delay us, that we don't make purpose and destiny. Father, forgive us. Oh, we renounce them. We uproot right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I ask right now that every person that is watching this stream on tonight, that they will share this stream, Lord. That they will be, that they will feel your presence, the fire of the living God, even if they are watching it on the replay, that they will feel your mighty presence in this live stream. Father, that, they, that it will cause them to leave the distractions. Father, and that they will be even the more attracted to you as they forsake the lustful desires of their flesh. Oh, who am I? praying for tonight hallelujah father i pray that the blood of jesus will rest upon every soul that is watching this stream right now even the ones that will watch on the replay lord go to their separate homes father minister to their minds minister to their hearts god do only what you can do that is heal set free and deliver God, and make us whole again in the name of Jesus by way of your spirit. Father, we pray for every child, oh God, all of our children, that you will cover them with the blood of Jesus from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, our family members that are dealing with spirits of infirmity, that are dealing with things, distractions, hey, God, that you would do a new thing, that this word would be piercing to their souls. Lord, that it will, it will stir up something in their minds and their hearts that will cause them to seek you the more, that will cause them to go deeper into the things of God, that will cause them to open up their minds, God, for the spirit to infiltrate and drive out everything that is not like you. 
Father, go down into the deep recesses of our souls. Lord, perform spiritual surgery. Oh God, that will remove everything that will hinder you and the power that you have vested in us and the authority, hey, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now that you are doing something even right now in this stream, Lord. People have been healed, set free by the word that you have set in this, that you have, you have allowed to go forth in this stream. Lord, help them to build their faith. Father God, we shut down the four corners of our homes, Lord. God, we apply the blood to our lives. Lord, we bind the enemy, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus over our minds, our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. In the name of Jesus, Father, where we want, we want our prayer to rise to you like a sweet-smelling savor into your nostrils, that it will rise like the incense that were burned on the altars in the Old Testament, God, for you in the name of Jesus. So Father, we shut down the demonic powers in the first and second heaven. We cancel them attacking this prayer. Father, we shut down the principalities in the regions that your people are located in. We dispatch the heavenly arsenal angels. We dispatch you to, def to defend and to contend with every covenant and every spirit that is contending with the people of God present here tonight. We shut down all destiny altering covenants in the name of Jesus. We pull them back from the realms of darkness. God, we transfer them by faith back into the kingdom of righteousness. In the name of Jesus, by faith, we pull our power and authority up out of the bowels of our souls. And we begin to apply it to our prayers. Hey, that we know how to engage the enemy in the realm of the spirit. That no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. We shut down demonic systems and operations that will work against us coming out of the distractions and the demonic systems of delay. We change the frequency, every demonic frequency that has been released over our lives. We cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we release the frequency of Christ. Oh God, by way of your word and your spirit, may it dwell in us constantly may it be bubbling over constantly in our in our souls god we give the holy spirit complete access and governance over our existence in the name of jesus that we may follow after you god that we may walk in the spirit that we don't pursue the things of the flesh God, that you would change our minds, God, that we will come out of a place of carnality, that we will begin to harness our power and our authority in the realm of the spirit. Father, I cause every celestial body that is present here tonight to be, a, to be covered with the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, cover them in the realm of the spirit. Lord, and cover us in the realm of the natural for we know that that is the parent world we shut down every demonic operation praying against us father we command the angelic forces in the highest order to do battle in the realm of the spirit with everything that is contending with us covenants that we can't see covenants that we don't know about covenants known and unknown that were done in ignorance we cancel them right now in the name of jesus father we decree and declare a quick turnaround in the name of jesus we shut down the enemy on every fort we shut down communication about our lives lord we shut it down at the gates of hell we confuse every demon on assignment 
to destroy us. Every assignment that the enemy has against us, we cancel it. We dismantle it. We untie the souls from the wicked demonic altars on tonight. We untie them from the wicked demonic covenants, bloodthirsty covenants. God, every demonic covenant, we untie the souls in the name of Jesus. And we command every demonic force to drop the chains that have held the people of God bound. Drop them right now. Angels, send them back to the pit. Every familiar spirit present in the bloodlines. First of all, we cut the demonic ley line in the name of Jesus. And Father, we cause every familiar spirit that have been causing generational curses in the bloodline, every foul spirit, we command you to go to the pit and never return. In the name of Jesus, Father, we instead release generational blessings over our families because we are going to line up with the word of God which is the will of God. And Father, we are going to begin to walk in the spirit as you have commanded us to do. Oh God, we thank you so much for showing us how to fight this thing and how to fight from a place of victory because we already have the victory in you. So we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Father, we thank you for the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit that will ward off every demonic attack. I see the words that are that we're speaking out of our mouths, the word of God that we're speaking into the realm of the spirit like a fiery sword that is cutting and destroying the demonic attacks. Father, we scatter our enemies on tonight. Our enemies be scattered on tonight. We shut down every, every frequency that they have released against us that is contrary to the frequency of Christ. We shut it down because we have the power and authority to do so. Every attack that is sent to us, go back. Every attack, go back by force, by fire. Every attack be just demolished and destroyed in the celestial realm. That it shall never make it to the terrestrial. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now that every altar that is set against your people, God, that it is being destroyed. God, we call down the fire from heaven to destroy these demonic altars. We strip every worker of darkness of their power to work against us in the name of jesus their power has been nullified on tonight in the name of jesus our homes are covered with the blood the angels are present here on tonight father we thank you right now we thank you right now that you are doing this thing even as we are touching and agreeing in the spirit father we thank you that as they go to speak wickedness against us, your people and our families, that their tongues would cleave to the roof of their mouths. Father, that they will feel uncomfortable sensations racking their bodies as they walk to the desolated altars that we have torn down in the rim of the spirit, that they will cry out to you, spirit of the living God, to save them from their wickedness. Father, we thank you right now. But if they don't choose to be saved, everything launching in the realm of the spirit, every astral projection in the name of Jesus, if it be your will, cut the silver cord tonight. Let it be severed in the name of Jesus. We're not playing with workers of darkness, God. We have been called to battle and tonight we are answering the call. No more distractions. No more distractions. Father, our vision is fixed and focused on you. Every destiny altering covenant has been destroyed on tonight. Destinies have been transferred back 
into the kingdom of righteousness. Purposes have been transferred back into the kingdom of righteousness. Spirit of distraction be destroyed right now over the this people of God. Be destroyed. Father, I release favor over us. Lord, may the anointing of God never run dry on our heads. Father, that we are the head and not the tail. That we are above and not beneath. That we are the lenders and not the borrowers. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost, to pray tonight. Help me to pray tonight. That we will understand the power and the authority that we hold. That we will begin to, on this night, use it moving forward. That we know how to fight. And not only that we know how to fight, but we are victorious. Because you said so. Father, we thank you right now. That every marriage issued in the realm of the spirit, we destroy spirit spouses on tonight that are preventing the people of God from meeting their kingdom spouse and who you have designated for us. We issue a decree of divorcement in the realm of the spirit right now. Every soul tied to a spirit spouse, a divorce is issued right here, right now. We bind every marine spirit. Oh, we coming for you. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because we have the power to bind and loose. Father, we loose your spirit and your power to destroy every work of the marine kingdom in our lives. In the name of Jesus. The spirits in the air. The spirits on the land and in the mountains. Your, your works are now destroyed in our lives. We stand on the word of God. We believe him with everything that is in us. Every spirit of infirmity that is affecting your people on tonight. Every surgery that they're going for. Lord God, let it be successful because we realize you heal through medicine. Father, we thank you that every spirit of infirmity is being destroyed right now at this moment. Father, by, by force, by fire, the enemy is now commanded to loose that body. Spirit, we command you to go to the pit and never come back. We take authority over you all. Familiar spirits and every spirit that has been called spirits of infirmity, spirits that are, are used to cause premature death, all of you, we take authority over all of you tonight. We bind you. In the name of Jesus. And we cast you back to the pit. And we tell you, we command you to never come back. In the name of Jesus. Father, cover us with your blood. We shut down every demonic portal and altar. That the enemy will use to get back into us. We cauterize them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Drenched in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That every promise in the book is yea and amen. So, Father, we receive the promise tonight of healing. We receive the promise of restoration. We receive wholeness on tonight in the name, name of Jesus. No more distractions. Father, we are fixed and focused on the goal, which is heaven. We are fixed and focused on our purpose and our destiny. Father, we love you on tonight. We thank you, Lord, everyone that is sold into the stream, everyone that will sow into this stream, whether it's resource, whether it's time, some sold resources and time. Father, I pray that you return it above measure. In the name of Jesus, everyone present here, even those that will watch the replay, cover your precious people. Cover us all with your blood. The blood is applied to our situation. Thank God for Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. We adore you. And we say thank you, God. It is done. It is 
finished in the matchless name of Jesus. Father, I release peace in this stream. I bind up every demonic attack that will try to attack the people of God in their, in their sleep on tonight. That will, uh, try to, that will try to attack them in their dream state. Lord, cover us in our sleep. We bind demonic attacks in our that will disturb us in the night, that will disturb our dreams. Father, we invite you to speak to us in our dreams. Show us what's happening in the parent world as you speak to us in our dream state. Father, we'll tell everybody in our testimony that you have done it. We glorify you. We love you. And we give ourselves over to you on tonight. And we say thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you have done and all that you're going to do, all that you're doing right now. In the matchless, precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you, Lord. Thank God. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Facebook, I love you. I love you. I love you. YouTube, I love you. I love you. Thank you all so, so much. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Thank you, Allison. Okay, I think I got you, Mercy, too. Thank you so much. If I missed anybody, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for all that you all have sold, uh, your time and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all be blessed. Don't forget to share this stream. We covered a lot tonight. I know some of y'all might have to go and watch it again and again. Amen. I see you, uh, Shana. Wayne, thank you so much. Y'all, don't forget to share the stream. Come back on Thursday. We're going to be back here doing it again at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you, family. Facebook, I love you. Thank you all so much for sharing and everybody that is sold into the stream. Good night, everybody. I love you all. Glory be to God. All right, YouTube, I love you all. Good night. Thank you so much. I love you, family. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. God bless you.